Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're headed to Georgia for a weekend stay at Seminole State Park. We're going to do a complete drive through for you, show you some of the amenities they offer, and tell you about how our stay was. So stick around. The park is located in southwest Georgia, just off of Georgia Road 253. It sits in a little cove off of Lake Seminole, and the park itself is 604 acres, and they have about 50 tent and RV campsites. They have 14 cottages, a fishing dock, they have three boat ramps, they also offer kayak and paddleboard rentals. They have covered picnic shelters, a playground area. They have mini golf and lots of hiking trails. Once you turn into the park, it's only about a half mile drive to get to the visitor center. Just past the office building is the day use area. This is where the swimming area is, as well as the boat ramps, the fishing dock, the kayak and paddle boats, the covered picnic areas, the playgrounds, the miniature golf is up here on the left, and the building right there on the right is where the restrooms are.
Now from here you would turn to the left if you wanted to exit and you would turn to the right to get to the campgrounds and the cottages.
Okay, so that was the full campground tour. And I did want to mention that they have a bathhouse, which is centrally located in the middle of the campground. It has a washer and dryer and the shower facilities inside were really clean. This is also where the dump station is located. We stayed on site number 10. It's a really nice site. It's a pull through. It's quite large. As you can see here, we have the truck, the camper, and the Subi with us, and we still had plenty of room. It has a great lakeside view. And we really enjoyed the sunrises and the sunsets that you can see from there. You also may want to look out for some of the wildlife that's around the park. Well, we think most of it's cute and adorable and make for really good pictures. Some of it could also be a little scary and maybe intimidating if you're on the water. So just be aware when you're kayaking or boating or doing anything on the water. Well guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. And if you did, I hope you'll consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to turn on that little bell notification so you'll be notified when we upload the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see y'all out there.